in a time before all time. History tells us of deeds fair and foul in places long forsaken by memory. This story is no different, for it will take you to a time forgotten even by the masters of the past. When the world was but a child, four gods were sent to earth. Their mission was to help the race of men establish itself. They were Aratar, god of twilight, Morgamil, god of the living creatures, Nenye, goddess of the skies, and Atamar, god of daylight. There were also half-gods known as storm lords in the common tongue. The gods of daylight and twilight forged great and terrible swords to protect men at all times. However, one of the storm lords, consumed by blind greed, stole the sword of twilight and disappeared from existence. Gorath was his name, and his sole purpose was to corrupt and enslave the weaker race of men. Some were deceived by the evil knight, but not all. We join the story in progress. Atamar, god of daylight, searches for the sword, and with him goes Boragar, an heir to the throne of men, and perhaps the only hope for his kind. Borgar, we must hasten. Arriving late shall be our peril. It has been nine nightfalls with no food or water. If you do not arrive soon, you will save in this world on your own. Lose not your faith, Borgar. For I sense we are near. We shall rest here a short while and search for what food we can. But we must not make fire, lest we bring all the slaves of Gorath upon us. Tell me, Adamon, how could a sword possibly be so dangerous? For it is ancient and powerful beyond your reckoning, forged by my counterpart Aratar, god of twilight. It was made for the protection of men, but if we do not retrieve it soon, your kin shall not survive the fell winter that approaches. Why does Aratar not search for his own sword? It has been many years since I have seen him. To me, everything feels terribly wrong. But perhaps we shall find the answer to these riddles soon. Hide yourself. What is it? It's Gorath and his twisted generals. Come, before we lose them. 
With every evil footstep of Gorath came an unspeakable frost, known only to man on the darkest, coldest days of winter. Possessing the sword of twilight, the ice in his heart decays the nature around him. A time of great despair is at hand. What news, Gorath? Have you served the Twilight well? Aye, Lord Aradon. I have found generals worthy of your service. Excellent. Let us return to Mogimil's lair. You have not the right to call yourself God, evil creature. You and your race are weak and not worthy of pity. You shall fail. You die by steel before becoming your dark slave. Why did you not help? I did more than you think. They challenge you to battle four days from now, and if they think you are alone, they will be overconfident. On this, we must rely. But what hope is there? What can we do? The roads will be watched. You must take to the Easter marches and summon your father and your cousin to battle. I will go and seek counsel with the goddess of the skies. Go now and look never back. the sword and challenged our enemies to battle at midday four days from now. On the plains of Bragalak, we shall have our victory. We shall destroy those pure and revolting gods and have ourselves a race of slaves. Yes, we shall destroy them. But all will bow to me and not you. Foolish servant, you are but a ragged claw on my long and evil hand. Submit you not to pure malice when it stands before you. Go forth and make ready for domination!
You have a lot to learn, young warrior. Unhand me! I've warned you only once! Perhaps you'd want to warn us a second time, brave fool. Father, Cousin Borok, I finally found you. What is the nature of this? Well, that is the reason I've come in search of you. Come. None other than Eretar has orchestrated the evil rumors of late. Gorath was put upon in his scheme. It seems they desire enslavement and extinction. I fear Morgamil has joined them as well. What chance do we have against the evil gods and their slaves? None! <laughs> fear not, for Adamar the Wise is on our side. He goes now to summon from the Lady of the Skies and the Lord of the Winds. Why would Nanya care about us? Yes, it has been a long time since she has helped us. So you think that all of our lands and freedom has been brought by us alone? Her fair power is invested in our realm and race. Adamar demands you and your axes. Do you refuse? I concur, my son. He has aided us for more decades than even my memory can count. Come, I have a gift for you. My son, this is the heirloom of your race and your family. Adamar's father gave this to my father in recognition of his kingdom. The time has now come for you to lead our past through the future. I hope only to be worthy, my father. My family, our existence is despised by our enemy. Let the gods fear men, we shall prevail to battle! To battle! My lord, what brings you here in such haste? Paladin, I must speak to the lady right away. Come lord, we shall bring you. My lady, we have in our presence an important guest, one Atomar. My fair and wise brother, what brings you in from your labors against evil? My evil itself, dear sister. We have aided the lords Morgamil and Artar for long years, but all was for naught. Gorath was but one of their slaves. Artar has now taken the Sword of Twilight to Morgamil's lair. I'm afraid this nightmare has indeed become very real. Is there other news? Traveling with me was a warrior of men. An heir of Borotan the Great he is. I have sent him to beg his father and his kinsman Borok to join us. We have been challenged on the Bragolak. It is now three days to battle. I'm coming. I'm ready to prepare for this awful task. My son, training begins now.
Yes! My heart has been troubled as of late, but now brightens with the sight of you. I wish not to interrupt Nene, and I'm sorry for doing so, but perhaps we should rest. Tomorrow will require us to overcome the most difficult of tasks. What troubles you, dear brother? I'm scared. No, that, that's not the word. I'm sad about tomorrow. With everything we've done, it'll be hard to leave. I only hope it was not in vain. And may we succeed tomorrow. That men will live in peace. I am afraid that even if we were to succeed, the seeds of greed have already been sown. Oh, you must not be so dark mind. The future has a chance. With every ounce of hope, courage, and bravery, the mortals' hearts grew strong. So strong, their will shattered Gorath's control of the elements. The hour of war is upon us. See what has become of your precious humankind. Dead. Your lust for power that has brought us to this madness. Enough, my thirst for blood. And may you drown in the river of it. Oh, I!
looks like your time is come, rancid mortal. <laughs> Many nights have passed since the great ordeal. All seemed well, yet the legend of the swords was a long way from a forgotten memory. You, it's the swords. If they can corrupt the hearts of gods, then what stops them from corrupting mine as well? The powers hidden within these swords are far greater than even those who created them. We could only hope to one day understand them. What if I become like Arator, enslaving those I was put here to protect? Adamar, I watched you die! Die? <laughs> it takes more than that to destroy a god. I've simply been banished from this realm. My time here is short. So what can I do now? Without you here to guide me, how can one man alone cleanse the world from the evil that haunts it? Ha! You can try until all your life leads you. But you shall fail! Fear not, Borgar. For he no longer has power in this world. It is you who holds all the power. With the sword of twilight and daylight, nothing, not even evil itself, can stop you. Come, Aratar. Bring your pride with you. Yes. Let us go. This. This will not be the last of me. There are higher gods keeping me from this wretched land. But once I have conquered them all, I shall return to reclaim what is rightfully mine. Never! I shall destroy you! Don't be so sure, young Boragar. Upon my return, perhaps you will no longer be deluded by clouds of righteousness. And together, we shall dominate! I will not let the swords take over. I will protect my people. For the honor of my father, Adamar, and you, Nene. Now that your father has fallen, the people of Earth will depend on you as their king. And I have no doubt that you will serve them well. This will not be the last of me. 